If you're thinking that you want to take that action step, why wait? Book your session right now. Go to liberateyourself.com. Click on either Liberate Hollywood or Liberate Emporium. See our amazing practitioners and who resonates most with you. And then book a session via Skype, phone, or in person. We're here for you, and it's your time to start creating your life. Mankind has been fascinated with realms outside of our conscious awareness. Through a series of interviews with practitioners, guest speakers, and experts, Liberate the podcast covers all that and more. From health and holistic healing to the supernatural, we aim to educate, motivate, inspire, and liberate your consciousness. Hi, welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. Today, our guest is one of our new practitioners here, but not definitely not new to uh, the art and modality of sound healing. Uh, amazing angelic being that just kind of happened to get introduced to me through a mutual friend, and he has studied and mastered the dynamic of sound healing, but not in the way that you think about. A lot of times people think about sound healing as far as like the crystal bowl healings and the sound baths, but the residence of, of your own voice and the in the tones that you can actually create with your own body uh, in your own vocal cords and what, with his own vocal cords that send out that energetic vibration. And I mean, we, we all know that we're all, uh, you know, we're energy and we vibrate and sound is energy and it has a vibration. And you mix these two together and you can have massive transformation. So today I'm welcoming on to the show Corey and he's going to tell you a little bit more about what he does. And we're going to talk a little bit about sound healing, but also about, you know, using the power of sound to be in the flow in your own voice and many other things. So Corey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Thank you so much, Christine. It's wonderful to be here and... um to be you know, stepping into liberate and the wonderful the wonderful energy here and the wonderful beautiful people here so thank you so much for for welcoming me here today uh, so sound healing um, I have been studying healing for the past 20 years uh, studied with Barbara Brennan uh, back in New York back in 95 96 I've studied uh, that was my first introduction to using sound um, as a healing modality and it was there that I learned about using different uh, different toning uh, different types of tones for the chakras each chakra may resonate in a different tone um, it was there that I learned about just like opening up my voice as a as a conduit for flow of energy for uh, the flow of spirit in in my life Nice. Maybe with that and saying that, I think that it would be amazing to have everybody that's listening feel that flow as we continue our conversation. Maybe we can help open everybody up with a little bit of your uh, talent and uh, some of your tones and continue to, this conversation. What do you think? That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so everyone listen to this right now. Uh, if you're driving, maybe not. Uh, this exercise just yet, but maybe when you get to a, when you get to a place where you can uh, just be still for a minute and then relax. So, using the one of the ways that you sound is to just really really helps me tune in, uh, tune into to the. There's this flow. There's this ebb and flow of of energy in the universe, and. A lot of us have heard about breathing, about about proper proper breathing, taking deep breaths. As a way to just slow down a bit and connect inside. So another way to to expand on that is to use vocal toning, so vocal tones on the out breath. So for example, so I'll take a nice big in breath. So just the just the the simple sound ah ah So 
if you do that a few times, you'll notice, uh, on, for one, it helps you to breathe deeper. Because in order to make a sound, you have to take a nice big breath. And so that's a huge benefit to, because as we usually go about our day, our, our breathing may be more shallow. We don't really think about breathing consciously. So doing toning is a way to encourage conscious breathing as well. So it's really kind of a doubly good thing because we're, we're taking some really good, good air into the body And when we let it out through the vocal cords, creating a vibration that helps stimulate the energy body around us, helps stimulate different chakras. Um, the, the ah sound uh, has been associated with the heart chakra. So it's a great opening a great opening exercise to uh, connect us to our hearts and to uh, to spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's just a really quick example. Um, there's gonna be we're gonna have a toning class here next Monday, the sixteenth. Mm -hmm. in the evening and if you're listening to this after the fact you know we'll we'll do a couple toning classes you know here and there um throughout that uh you know just so check out our our calendar and you know Corey's going to do some ongoing classes and things like like that um but getting into the so let's hear a little bit maybe a backstory so you, you do this training in new mm -hmm. york yeah. and I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody that's listening right now, you can feel the the shift in just the energy of your current state, you mm. know? And so this really has a lot of power. So you go and you take this class, and then what happens, you know, next? Well, um, to, to take a step even back further than that, um, I've, I've been a musician most of my life, playing piano, uh, playing trumpet in, in the school band. Uh, I went to music school, studied music technology, and that was before all the spiritual doors opened and, and the healing. It was really my last year at music school where I was, wasn't was sure exactly where I was going with life, feeling a little bit depressed. Uh, I, I saw a sign on the wall, learn how to meditate, you know, cures depression. I'm like, okay. So I, that was my first kind of spiritual opening. I found out about chakras you know, meditating on the heart chakra, meditating on, on the third eye, and listening to music while I was meditating. And so really started to, to connect those together. And it was, I think, about a year later, I saw an ad in the Learning Annex for, for Barbara Brennan doing a, a, weekend, a weekend intensive. So... And it was talked about healing through the chakras. I'm like, huh, healing chakras? What's this? <laughs> and so I, I went to I went to this to this weekend, and I was just totally, I'm uh, like, this is for me. This is it. And so I I enrolled in her school, and a couple months later, the school began. And one of the very first electives at seven in the morning was a toning circle. So I I didn't know what to expect, but hey, I'm a musician. I, I hadn't really been a singer in the past. I really never was. A, I was a piano player and a technician and uh, played trumpet again, but, you know, nothing really vocally. I uh -huh. wasn't really a, never really considered myself a singer. And so I went to this toning circle, and there's about 60, 70 people in this big, you know, big, you know, one of the, it was at a hotel, one of the, uh, one of the big meeting rooms there, all sitting on the floor in a big circle. And everyone is starting to just go, ah, oh, he. and I start. I joined in, and uh, and all of a sudden my voice went, oh, and my voice, my heart opened up, my voice opened up, and I was like, ah, this is for me. <laughs> this is the sound stuff. There's something here uh, that I quote unquote, you know, vibrate to. And it was just amazing. So and so it was really there um, that I had my, my first experiences with sound and 
some of the training about different using different sounds to open up different chakras. And immediately I just started incorporating that into my healing work because uh, Barbara Brand teaches hands on healing and in depth, you know, very in depth uh, healing classes, psychology and uh, anatomy, physiology, and how energy flows in the body, how the different chakras correspond to different parts of the body, uh, all the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of each chakra, and so studied all that. And, and the sound just became a tool of how I interact with the energy system, with, with the body, because I'm, I'm pretty good at finding where the stuck places in, in, in the body is for, for people and energetically. And I kind of tune in and I find just through my voice what, what vocal, what frequencies the energy block is looking for to let go. Ah, so the vibration goes in there and kind of engages with that energy block and dissipates it? Or what's, what's yeah. like the process that you know, happens with it, with this vibration and the sound that goes in. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's a couple of different things. Like one is the actual energy blockage itself. So, you know, picture, you know, this, you know, this conglomeration of, of energy that is just kind of blocking the flow. Because mm -hmm. that's what, you know, that's what healing is all about is like we come to this planet with you know, to learn different lessons. So we attract uh, trauma to ourselves. We attract abuse. We attract negative energy to ourselves. And that uh, creates a defensive patterns of how we run our own energy. And those defensive uh, energies wind up as energetic blocks. And we take, and it could be um, this negative thought patterns somewhere held somewhere in the body um, this negative energy we have taken on. And so with, with the, the vocal toning, I can kind of tune into that. And, and some of the, the tones I create um, vocally are pretty intense and strong. And those will kind of go in there into those blockages and help, help break them up and dis dissipate them. And once the energy is cleared, then perhaps go in with, with some, some very supportive tones that help resonate the chakras, resonate the organs to to where they want to be, and kind of through harm, the laws of harmonic resonance, mm. uh, we can uh, help uh, help create healing in in that way. And then and then going step uh, steps deeper with with uh, for a person from a personal level for uh, the client, uh, have them learn. To, to do these tones and have them learn to do some, some self-clearing and, and self-empowerment of, of the energy system. That's and, amazing. Yeah. So, so people can learn to understand some of these you know, basic tones and kind of heal their self in times of stress or, yeah. or tension or depression or whatever is going on in them. Mm -hmm. And then also you know, come to see you and have you know, some major breakthroughs in some of the other you know, kind of stuck, stagnant energy. Exactly. Um, and talk to me about a couple, you know, maybe like for those that are listening to maybe a couple uh, clients and case studies and the types of different diverse things that you've uh, worked on, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. so that people can have a better understanding of, you know, like it's just, it's just so everybody's aware that's listening. I, I've had many different healings by many different people um, through the years and Corey is truly gifted. It's, it's, it's one thing with the sound, but it's understanding the intuitive nature and using those energies like the power um you know just just the other day he worked on me for maybe like 10 minutes and uh suddenly i felt like my lungs had this like scraping clearing where it was uh, kind of the same sensation that uh years and years ago i used to run cross country and 
sometimes when it would be those cold crisp autumn days and you go for like a you know five six mile run and you could feel like almost like this like your air cat uh like your lungs just felt raw and almost you could feel like a metallic taste in your mouth like iron it was like almost the same effect and this was just from you know doing a couple you know sound vibrations and and toning frequencies to me and i was like wow i can actually physically feel the difference Mm-hmm. you know so definitely um like again like sound so so sound to me is the most powerful form of energy because it interacts on all levels physical emotional mental and spiritual um it's it, it's a, a physical vibration sound and, and music is creates a physical vibration that um, uh, sound is used in, in, in Western medicine to break up uh, uh, kidney stones, gallstones in the body. They, they, they use uh, uh, subsonic uh, frequencies. Mm-hmm. Uh, emotionally, obviously, uh, music is something that, that touches all of us emotionally, uh, depending on the type of music and, and, and lyrics in, in the music can really, uh, really touch us uh, emotionally deeply. Uh, on a mental level, there are different uh, different technologies that use different types of frequencies to help put the brain into altered states of consciousness. Mm-hmm. You know, like data, a, a theta, you know, more expanded awareness, uh, delta, really deep, you know, deep, deep sleep states. Um, and of course, spiritually, sound has been the way we connect to spirit. Uh, sound has been the way that man women have connected to to uh, to a greater reality yeah I think anybody can have the experience of hearing a certain song and they're teleported into a different emotional state mm-hmm. um, and I've been fascinating fascinated recently seeing um, diving in a little deeper and seeing that a lot of the the instruments are tested for their quality and they make these when they're played uh sand is put on like a surface and it will like they're they're strummed or the keys are played or or things like that it will actually form this geometric shape and i mean you you can people you can look it up on the, on the internet you can google this and stuff like that but it's you know guitar is played or a keyboard is played or or, you know a violin and suddenly um, the different chords that are played in the different notes create these different geometric patterns and the better the quality the instrument the stronger the pattern will persist within these you know sand uh, you know kind of surface uh, geometric shapes and so it's amazing that that can just happen and I also seen some videos where they play sound in an object is suspended in air so that's yeah. about the physical stuff that you're right. talking about about right, too, right, right, you know, right, so it yeah. actually has the power to hold things up physically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know, again, you know, as we move, step and as we as we step closer and closer to the the a new age of enlightenment that that is you know coming to the planet o- over the next few years, sound as medicine is going to become more and more prevalent more and more widely widely known because we are everything is a vibration yeah you know um our, uh, we, we know that thoughts are, are, are vibrational uh, we know emotions are vibrational we know our bo- everything in our body is current is constantly in motion constantly creating vibrations so you had asked about a couple of uh, examples um i uh, years ago i had a client who was having gallbladder issues and the doctors of course recommend let's take that sucker out you know mm-hmm. um which isn't it that's just the how the halopathic you know model you know, let's oh, it's, cut it out yeah right yeah it's not working let's take it out um so you don't need that yeah, um so i did a couple of uh, sessions with her you know and focusing on you know what the um energetic issues were, the um, emotional, mental issues were around gallbladder, which is which is anger stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So anger, you know, whatever anger she, she needed to, to let go of, we helped her do that through, through helping her contact uh, that sound within. So there's, so every, um, I digress a little bit, but every, every pain has a sound. Interesting. Yeah. 
every pain has a sound. So when we can uh, connect deeply to where that source of pain is in the body and find the and find that that source of it and and we really go and, and contemplate and meditate into that into that sound and then we can kind of bring that sound up and out of the body that really helps to alleviate the energy blockage which which is going to help help alleviate pain Okay. So it's a really wonderful, a wonderful tool. So um, I was working on this with her, and of course I did um, direct toning into the gallbladder area, into that energetic area. And after a couple of sessions, just things cleared out, and you know, no surgery. She didn't need any surgery. Yeah, yeah. Isn't so. that amazing? Like, I mean, our bodies are truly designed to heal their self, and yeah. I think that. You know, that's an important thing for anybody that's listening. We're not here to diagnose or treat or, you know, like to compete with uh, Western medicine. But, you know, just to allow yourself to critically think before you take steps or notions that you seem to um, maybe be persuaded to think that there's no hope. Because there is always hope. If you shift if you shift the energy, if you shift the blockages, if, uh, if things change and the body is in a space where it can be its, its optimal self and operate and function the way that it's meant to without congestion, without these blockages, without this, the lower vibrational energies, miraculously, many times, time and time again, people have healing miracles happen that aren't really, in my opinion, miracles. It's just putting the body back to homeostasis. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. exactly. Um, and, you know, a big part of the healing work I do, uh, a lot of it is like assessing the energy system and then the intuition kind of kicks in. Um, and I've been, I've been at this for a while, so my intuition you know, is up there and I've had a lot of experience with different, different types of healing and, and uh, thought. And what we are really after is finding you know, what the mental images, emotional images, uh, patterns that led us to this energetic imbalance. Hmm. And once we can find those and explore those, uh, and, you know, and exploring those through, through sound again is a very powerful and kind of, you know, kind of uh, graduate level yeah. You know, way of, of doing this. You know, once we get in there, it's okay, it's time. It's time to let this thought pattern go that I've had for the past 40 years. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I see the lesson now. It's like, ah, <laughs> I see the lesson. Now. And, and, just, and, and it's about, you know, just letting this stuff finally oh. go and finally stepping into who we truly are, stepping into our power. Um, Stepping into hmm. stepping into our hearts, finding compassion for the self, compassion for others, forgiveness for ourselves, forgiveness for others, and then just like this stepping into you know. The because we're in a spiritual evolutionary process right now, so that's what we're being asked to do to, to, to let go of the old stuff, the old paradigms we've been we've been carrying around, and just shed that old skin and and step into a new vibration, step into a higher frequency that uh, life is calling us to do. I love that. You know, so many people toss that that uh, term around you know uh, I, I need to raise my frequency or my vibration mm -hmm. or I know that if I tap into a higher vibration things will happen easier but a lot of people you know say that without a full understanding of what that really means mm -hmm. you know it's kind of like a lot of people might use the term love and we all have a co collective understanding of love but to each person it's something different right mm -hmm. and so I think that this is this is actually like the practical house of changing that vibration of using this 
you know, magical power of sound and the ability for us to tap into our own power to display some of that apparatus of sound through our own vocal cords, but also going to somebody like you, Corey, and having having their literal vibration shift because mm-hmm. when they walk out of there after having all of these different sounds and tones placed upon their body, their organs, their chakras, and everything like that, they are vibrating at a different frequency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> right. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, and I just happen to be, you know, this this has this has been my path to to, to follow sound and be be immersed in in, um, in in this type of work, and it's an honor to be able to help others, um, you know, let go of this old stuff, you know, um, and be um, be a guide to to help others, you know, find you know the light inside and find the the uh, the uh, true positive vibrations for their life. And now you gave you gave an example of a physical ailment that was uh, that you helped treat through uh, utilizing the toning in your voice and and healing. Uh, now, before you had mentioned that sound vibrates on the physical, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual. You know, like mm-hmm. all the different planes. Yes. And do you find that? there's a certain type of people that are dealing with these issues versus these issues that are a little bit more effective, you know, when somebody's mm-hmm. coming to you? Is it, is it that, you know, a lot of physical things, you equally work as much on emotional? Like, um, yeah, uh, like to me, what, like when, when there is a, uh, a physical ailment, you know, that's, that's like the last step because like first it, it, it like our lessons slash you know the um, I almost, almost want to say the word wounding but you know the word you know lessons is really what because we we may feel wounded but mm-hmm. these are lessons we chose to learn this lifetime right. mm. so we come in and we say oh I'm in that ha- What's the best way for me to learn unconditional love? Mm-hmm. This lifetime. And not just this week, this month. This, this lifetime. <laughs> you know? And so if we have people hurt us, we're going to go through a process of, of, of being angry, of being defensive, of being... Of being sad, of, of of going through different emotions, um, uh, different mental uh, messages, of feeling unloved, of feeling bad, of feeling less than, and when really the the, the lesson is to discover that deeper truth of oh, I am light, I am love, I am forgiveness, and this this may take you know a lifetime to to figure out. You know, or, or, or at least like, you know, that that, that portion of, of our lives to 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 come to this realization, the self realization of of the the truth of who I am is light and love and joy and creativity and passion. Mm-hmm. And that's why we're really here. And so all the different types of healing modalities out there are trying to bring us to that realization. Yeah. So it sounds like, you know, what you really help to do is that wherever somebody's at, you know, you help them vibrate to their true soul's frequency so they can feel that. Right, they still right. have to learn you still have to learn the lessons, yeah. everybody. You still have to have that awareness. But if you're if you're connected to that source energy and that frequency, mm-hmm. you know, even if it's just for a, a few moments or a day or this or that, you're going to maybe help you get those awarenesses and that insight and that that aha. Mm-hmm. And of those lessons right. so that you no longer have to suffer, struggle, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, here's an example. Um, uh, the second chakra. You know, in this country, we have so many issues around the second chakra, sexuality, sensuality, mm-hmm. creativity. You know, putting who we are out into the world through a in a creative manner. So, you know, and that's kind of third chakra, second chakra stuff combined. And so I find that I, I work on a lot of people with, with these issues, mm. you know, um, where uh, whether it's from a young age, you know, having sexual trauma, um, whether it's from, you know, just, just, just having negative, negative uh, self-talk, which, you know, came from childhood, you know, taught from adults outside of us. And just really going into these issues and just really, like, like you know, going into, into those energies and feeling the fear, feeling the, the anger, and, and really helping people to really, really dig down deep and express that. Because mm. that, that's where our power is. That's yeah. where our power is. And so, you know... Um, and so whether it's in the second chakra, whether it's in the heart chakra, whether it's in the third eye, all these, wherever our, our um, wounding is blocking the flow, it's tamping down our vibration. And so when we can look at these issues and go deep into them and let them go and heal them and let the, that energy flow, that's going to help us resonate to our soul vibration Mm. that's going to help us remember who we really are and our soul and the and and so and is is going to vibrate to, to to that next level and then we elevate from working on our life lessons our healing our own personal healing to working on our life purpose Mm. Our, our soul's life purpose, our soul purpose for, for being here. So it's time. You yeah. Know? It's, it's, um, we're here. It's like there's, you know, this is going to, you know, the lots going on in the world, lots going on in the country, and everyone listening to this podcast, you're one of the people, you are one of the way showers. Mm-hmm. You are on the leading edge of remembering who you are, mm-hmm. and once and once you can let go of the stuff that's not who you are, and you step into who you are, that's going to help lift lift this planet up. That's going to help lift the, the vibration of 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 your of your na- your 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 loved ones, your neighbors, your your friend, you know, the the, the the greater community. Yeah, and then the planet. So, you know, what I'm getting from what you're saying is it's it's healing so that you're overflowing, so that you're in a, you can create instead of just, you know, men to yourself, you can create and expand outward. And so I think that that's, you know, these way sh- sayers and these people that are moving forward, let's get you healed. Let's get you no longer dealing with this, these things and trauma and other problems from the past so that you don't have to be in those vibrations anymore. You can be in that creative force mm-hmm. vibration instead. Exactly. exactly. And, and when you have a big chunk of healing to do, you're not doing it just for yourself. You're, you're, you're helping the whole energy grid with everyone else who's had the similar types of issues you're helping lift everybody up collective consciousness exactly 100th exactly. monkey syndrome <laughs> exactly exactly and just and, and and what we're doing is is just creating harmonic resonance mm. cuz as you vibrate higher your friends and neighbors vibrate higher yeah so come on down it's amazing do you have any other um, stories of clients that you've worked on Um, that you just uh, really touched you in any way um, or that you seen their life shift or unfold differently after a session or a couple or 
um, just something that maybe um, personally touched you and helped heal you too, well, you know? Yeah, as you, um, as you talk about that, what comes up is actually a recent uh, session I did on, um, on an older person who has never had energy work before, really. Um, he's had massage, a little bit of massage here and there, but really, you know, um, not not an overly conscious person. Mm-hmm. Um, Seventy years old, and this is like this story, you know, goes more towards uh, you know the intuitive nature and, and and training I've had, and and basically what came up out of the healing is uh, his upper back. Um, so right behind the the heart. Okay. So this is the um, the will center. Okay. Um, so the, the the rear aspect of the heart chakra has to do with willpower, and so his upper back was just like, you know, and just massive, just like just huge, just like um, out of balance. And, and just you know, compared to the rest of the body, his upper back was just like just big and thick and strong and just, you know. And what came up out of, out of the healing session is that, you know, your whole life has been run by sheer force of will. Hmm. And, you know, and I could tell, and, and he looked at me and you have the, you can see it and, you know, when you see it in someone's eyes where it, it just like connects and you get that big aha it's like ah oh, wow you know so just really like cluing into that into the reality of you know well when he was younger he needed that because his his, his you know his, his environment was a little bit abusive was and so he just built up this kind of turtle shell mm. and just you know lived his this whole life like that and so when we, you know, so helping him get to this realization of, oh, it's, I'm not five years old anymore. I don't need to carry this this shell. Yeah. And then, like the balancing act is, oh, I can I can put put my shoulders back, lift up my head, and open open up my heart, and and connect to connect to love and joy. Which is which has been very you know over the years very you know clamped down and shut down, mm-hmm. and so you know it's time to open up, and so it was, it was just an amazing you know uh, realization for him, and for me it's just a just a a confirmation of all the training I've had and how and and how. Um, and the truth of how the energy body, the energy system works throughout the body, and how that, uh, how uh, how we can uh, perceive that, and mm-hmm. when once we perceive it and understand it, then we can look towards okay, how do we heal this now? Yeah. yeah. And by singing ah for the heart to open up the heart chakra. Uh, letting letting go, letting the shoulders go. Uh, balancing the front and rear aspects of the heart chakra, the front aspect of the heart chakra that that just wants to to experience love and joy, and giving and receiving. And the rear aspect of of um, of willpower of and 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 not that being strong willed is bad. Being like this will, like the willpower pushes us forward. Mm-hmm. You know, so the so the the energy and the rear aspect of the heart chakra pushes our our hearts forward out out into the world. And so when it's balanced, so when we have a, a balanced uh, from front to to back. You know, so we're going to have a loving experience with with energy pushing that loving experience forward. Nice. Is there another tone that we could uh, 
that you could share with some people? That's another maybe aspect that um, a lot of people struggle with, maybe their emotional center perhaps, or? Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about grounding. Okay. Um, Because that's another, another, um, another aspect of like why we're not manifesting. Okay, mm-hmm. so we may have all these ideas, all these spiritual ideas. A lot of spiritual people, you know, have all these, these huge open hearts and they have this huge connect, connection to spirit, but they're not on the planet. Yeah. You know, they're just, you know, la, 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 la. You know they're not here grounded on the planet. So these spiritual ideas and, and heart-driven visions you know, are not going to manifest if your third chakra, your second chakra, and your first chakra are not grounded in reality here. Because hmm. uh, most of the last spiritual people, you know, it's from like the heart chakra and up. You know, heart chakra is open, their communication is open, the third the throat chakra, the third eye, they're, com- you know, communing with spirits, and, <laughs> and, you know, their crown chakra is like buzzing, and they've got this, you know, this direct connection to source, and and then they're, and then they're not eating right, or they're, or they're not eating enough, or they're, or they're just, you know, the belly's maybe a little, you know, they got this dietary thing going on and this food allergy happening. <laughs> and so, you know, and so the third chakra is sensitivity to gluten, all the stuff, you know, it's like the, the, and because the, because the, the, the third chakra is not, is not fully, uh, fully open and functioning healthily. And then there's sexuality issues, the second chakra, which, which are, you know, preventing, you know, and this holding back energy, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, first chakra. Yeah. You know, um, earth. Am I connected to the earth? Am, am I really here? Am I really grounding this in? So, <clears throat> so the syllable uh is, mm. a, is a great syllable to, to tone, to open up the first chakra. And... Uh, and, and sometimes in the in the, uh, in the toning classes I do when we're talking about the first chakra, you know, you think of the uh, 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 like is it like <laughs> this caveman type of like uh, you know, very you know on the earth, very grounded, you know, yeah, and just like you know, even bounce up and down a little bit, uh, uh, uh. So, um, so that tone, and and you and you would want to do like a tone for the first chakra, in, in like a, a low in a low pitch, just whatever's comfortable for you for for your voice. So something like this. doing a tone like that for, for grounding, opening up the first chakra, I think of the color red. Um, imagine roots growing out of the bottoms of your feet and your toes into the earth, sinking into the earth, becoming like a tree. <clears throat> like, oh. a really nice tone to help us just relax into the body, become more still, and just feel solid, feel, and it's like bringing those energies down, all the thought patterns from the mind, all the feelings in the heart, and the, and the third chakra, the self, the feelings of who I am and, and my creativity, how, how I'm, I'm expressing that onto this planet, how I'm manifesting who I am onto the planet. So, so now that we're grounded, let's go to the opposite 
like crown chakra and upper upper chakras and I'm, I'll, I'll do a little bit of of overtoning okay and so the overtones work on the outer layers of the aura okay so bringing in more like higher spiritual connections higher spiritual uh, frequencies so and we'll sip here <clears throat> So I'll do a little bit of overtoning. So definitely don't do this while you're driving. <laughs> well, um, a, qu a quick story. Um, <laughs> yes. drive, a, a quick driving story. Here you go. So um, this is back um, uh, when I first learned, again, 20 years ago, when I first got into um, using uh, sound and toning. I was living in New York at the time. And... I was uh, going to visit a friend in Boston. That's where I, I went to school. I had some friends up there. When I was driving, so I was driving from New York to Boston. It's about about a four hour drive, you know, like going from here to San Diego or something. Yeah. Um, and so I'm driving along, and I'm thinking, well, I've got four hours to kill. You know, like what if I just sing ah, hmm. you know, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I just start driving. I'm like. Uh, and make a little tune. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm just doing this ah uh, sound, you know, this ah uh, feeling good, breathing deeply. Uh, and and after about an hour, um, my chest starts to vibrate. My chest is vibrating. <laughs> And I'm like, this is kind of cool. And I'm like, ah, uh, and I'm like, and then my, my arms are starting to vibrate. Keep on going. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, well, um, I think I better stop because, like, you know, I want to like still be driving, you know, focus on my drive. Um, but it was that was a very key experience because um, it showed me, it taught me the power of sound, mm -hmm. and and I've I've tried in the past you know again since then to but i think that was just like one of these like experiences that you know the sound gods were like giving me to you know really go, yeah this is this is your path my friend you know <laughs> so, oh. uh, so that's a fun story um so I'll, I'll do some let's do a little overtoning here so yeah so don't drive <laughs> pull over <laughs> and uh and just just like breathe and relax breathe and relax here we go expanded place and I'm trying really hard to be verbal <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, I'm yeah. zen out <laughs> yeah. that's for sure <laughs> yeah so um it's uh so doing overtoning is a, is a great practice to to clear out thought because it just it just like after like five minutes of doing some overtoning it's just like boom just like you know I'm just in that vibration and it's really wonderful uh into, uh, really wonderful intro to go into meditation. Wow. 
because it really because like the, the, the whole uh, goal of practicing meditation is to stop thought. Yeah. And that and, gets you there in two seconds. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you say five minutes of it, yeah. you did like one minute and I'm yeah. out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's, it's powerful. It's powerful stuff. <laughs> and Corey, you're powerful. If you had to leave everybody with uh, any one last tidbit of wisdom, what would it be? Hmm. Don't forget to breathe. Hmm. Um, I know it's it's such a cliche thing in spirituality. Oh, breathe, breathe! But really, it's like we, when when we forget about conscious breathing, we we forget about who we are. Because um, when like just in, inspire inspiration is bringing spirit into the body. Mm-hmm. So when we breathe in. breathing spirit into the body and the more we do that the better we'll feel i love that yeah i hope everybody loved the sampling and all the wisdom that Corey shared with us today um you can find Corey at liberate emporium he's going to be offering a couple classes every month and he's also available for one-on-one sessions uh cory where else can they find you um I'm at uh, sacredsoundhealer.com um, and uh, up in, in Sherman Oaks, so I'll be doing some stuff there too. Um, so, you know, but you know, yeah, All you right. can find me. I'm out there. <laughs> so, sacredsoundhealer.com and then, of course, at liberateemporium.com and you can uh, contact us directly or contact him directly if you have any more questions about uh, his amazing sound healing or any of the uh, workshops and evening nights that we'll be doing. Um, thank you so much for joining. I hope that uh, this was insightful and also healing uh, for anybody that listened. Please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, your feedback really helps other people find our podcast. Uh, so if you leave a little bit of a comment, rate us, five stars is amazing. That would be, uh, you know, wonderful or whatever you wish. But, uh, you know, so leave some feedback so others can find us. And until next time, thank you. Thank you so much.